uh, it's gonna be a lot to take in. So if we do it in sections, you know, like beginner modeling, intermediate modeling, you know, and, and follow across in that in that bit in that in that format for tutorials, I think it'll, people will be able to follow uh, across really well, and they'll be able to afford you know each section of the program of the tutorial a lot better. So that's that's something that we want to do with the live workshop as we move forward. And you know it's gonna take a little bit of time because we're doing a lot of things you know at the same time, but it's definitely one of one of the goals, and I think it'll help out tons of people at the same time. Yeah, I hear you, Center 4. I think a few people have uh, shared your your opinion on the the heavy dust. Problem is, uh, we kind of lose a little bit of the centerpiece when we don't have the dust. As I mean, I'll give you my rational, my artistic uh, reasons for having the the guys uh, really into this uh, dust storm. You know, that's going below, and that's why the character is high up on this rock. So he's, he's looking out and he's taking point of his army. But more than that is we're showcasing the, the items for the set. So we really want to bring those guys out. We're not really interested in having all these guys in the background really come forward. Like, add, uh, let me show you. Not taking some of this dust stuff. Which I think is a tough dust that we want to clear and keep some of the background. Oh my god. You know, um, we lose, well for one thing, we lose a lot of those browns, that is our grounding for the image, and the gradient of brown going into the blue, which is really um, iconic. And two, uh, we, we lose a little bit of the, you know, the, the uniqueness of the guy and the sets really really being pushed out on, you know, uh, make, make, making it part of the, the focal uh, uh, eye flow of, of the piece, where the, you know, the viewer will look at the hero, at the lance and then work his way down and then look at all the clones and then work his piece down to the left side. So that's it's kind of like the, the eye flow that I'm going for. So the dust actually really helps that out and really pushes this hero out to the front and highlights the set pieces which is you know uh, what we're selling. We're, we're showing the set pieces. This is this is what we're doing. And then second comes all the phantom lancers in the background and this you know showing the, a little bit of the character and the fact that he's uh, illusions and his army behind them and a little bit of story and all that stuff follows across for it so that's that's the marketing I guess uh, you know feeling behind the piece yeah we're drinking beer man we're drinking some uh, heaven wise and uh, it's a uh, hef yeah yeah <laughs> that's right anymore Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, if you're a student, you can get free versions of programs like Maya or Softimage, or you can grab uh, the mod tool for, for Softimage, but you might run into some issues uh, trying to export, because you'll have to find a way to export to OBJ or a different format and then bring that format into uh, OBJ using a, like a free program like Blender or whatnot. But learning a higher-end program like Softimage is also a, a, a good idea, you know, but if if you want to just grab it quick, you know, grab Blender, it's completely free, and you're able to export to uh, FBX with your skeleton, but you'll have to import the skeleton. I haven't imported the skeleton yet into uh, Blender, I haven't used Blender actually in many years, but I'm, I'm sure people are importing the skeleton via the, maybe there's an SMD import, or an FBX import for the skeleton that they provide in the technical files from Valve. So those are, those are some easy ways to get started for you, man. Right on, Serena 4. Awesome, man. It's easy from any kind of painting that you're doing and you go into a digital format, I think you're gonna find your... You'll find the familiar feeling between those two things fairly soon, you know, into your learning curve of learning Photoshop or any painting program. 
You know, I mean, it's brush strokes when it comes down to it, right? So whether you have tools that create easier brush strokes like a pen tool or the lasso tool and you can separate things into layers, all that stuff is extra. So yeah, I mean, if you have, a, if you have an art background, you're really going to be able to adapt to digital art uh, fairly easy. That's just how it is, man. So yeah, try it, you know, try it and get, it, you know, keep at it and you'll get good. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. So there is an SMD importer for Blender. That's what I thought. Thanks for the link, Frosty. That's awesome. Yeah, Blender has gotten a lot of upgrades, so it's really nice. I mean, it's still not the high-end program that, you know, Maya or or Softimage or 3D Studio Max are, but it's, you know, it's it's really, really good. It's got a lot of really good stuff. And it's free, you know? <laughs> Ceranophore. Uh, well, I'm talking to Vov and I might do, I might, I, I want to do prints for sale. So when there, if we get to that point and we have some prints, you know, if, uh, for sale, I can make a print without the dust for you. How about that? Uh, it's not a, necessarily a print screen of the model, uh, the limbo. Uh, what we call it is called a render. So I rendered my 3D model after I set up all the lighting and all the environment stuff in it. And I render it pretty much just like a photo shoot, you know, using like techniques like the different lenses and and focal lengths for the lenses and uh, blurring for it and distance and uh, depth passes. And I put all those passes together with different kind of lighting situations with the sun behind it, with a little bit of the sun in front, uh, with the sun making a really high uh, rim lighting highlight on some of the edges. And yeah, I mean, I put all those things together and then I've been painting on top of all those passes at the same time to create this uh, beauty pass or beauty illustration, which is will be the final product of all that work. So that's how that uh, like print screen, what we're calling it, it's called a render or a beauty render. And then all those different passes put together will create your final beauty render, which you paint on top of, if you want. What's my connection to Alliance? We are partners, and we're putting out this Phantom Lancer set that, uh, that I designed. That will be for, I think Loda, well, Loda is the person on the team that uses it, but the set will be for the whole team. So that's, uh, that's the connection with Alliance, we're partners. Do I think of Peel more of a Monkey King or a cat? Uh, he's definitely got more of a cat design behind him. Uh, hey, Miss London, how you doing? Yeah, you can see the set. Uh, so, I mean, it's got no materials or anything or, you know, effects coming from the lens or anything yet. But this is the 3D model with just straight color on it. So, here you go. See that? Uh, I think we're running at 50 frames per second, so... I think you guys are getting a pretty smooth frame rate on this stream, hopefully. And I've, I've upgraded my internet connection, so we actually have like excellent uh, quality rating with uh, with our stream, with Twitch, which is really, really cool. Lora, don't pick uh, Lancer. <laughs> well, he was, uh, they dropped by the stream the other day and they were really excited to get it. So I'm sure they'll play a little bit of Phantom Lancer. And I'm sure, you know, all the heroes go in and out, you know, with strategies. I'm sure he'll come back around at some point and uh, they'll use it, you know, whenever they, they feel appropriate and it'll be awesome. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, the image is 8000 by 4000, which is freaking huge. This image. See, we can zoom in all the way into the face and you can see all the detail. It takes Photoshop's reading all the different uh, zooming for, uh, quality settings, so that's why it takes a while to actually zoom in, but here you go. That's pretty zoomed in, right? Here we go one more. <laughs> Too close? Too close. Yeah, he's definitely a cat. Give techies. Everybody's dying for techies. <laughs> I wish I played more Dota 1 so I knew all the heroes, but I don't know techies. I mean, I know what they look like and everything, I just don't know the gameplay or anything. And I'm staying away from it on purpose. I want to I wanna, I wanna see it all fresh. It'll be good.
Well, since we're here, let's work on the hero face a little bit. There's a couple of things I wanted to do. We have some dark areas here that uh, appeared after we changed the, the color correction for the sky. So I think some of these guys I might be able to... Uh... Maybe I can pull these guys back. I have uh, different layers for the head actually. <laughs> I forgot about that. We have our main head. And we have the heads behind it that acted as uh, I think the shadow things underneath. I kept some other versions of the head that we we're testing out. Or this guy, so the bottom half should change a little bit. There you go. So some of the shadows that I kept below. Uh, but I guess this layer is the, the one that's holding uh, these dark guys that we want to... Oh, so it's the guys below it actually that are changing. Oh, actually, it would be better if we... Let's see which layer we actually don't need on here. I think we can merge these two. I'll duplicate them just in case we... Do need them later. Hide those two and then merge these two. Okay, and then we can go ahead and erase away some of these guys we don't actually. Let me hide some of our passes because they're really slowing down Photoshop. A big file. Even for print, I don't think I need to go this big next time. <laughs> it's just really slow. And with that said, let's change our tunes a little bit. A little soul on for you guys. to the eye and have that as the loading screen. <laughs> I don't think so, man. <laughs> That's awesome, team mighty PL walks into a bar and there is no counter. <laughs> Pretty good. No counter. Oh, that's so stupid. It's hilarious. Yeah, Earthshaker's a huge counter, man. He sucks. Okay, that hair looks a little bit better. Just needs more little wispies coming out of there. That. He's <laughs> not in balance, but it's a good joke nonetheless, man. Alright, Molly, have a good time, man. Thanks for joining us. We'll check you out maybe tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, if so, we'll see you for sure. Uh, yeah, see oh, O'Willian? O'Willian. See O'Willian. Uh, yeah, I, I am definitely gonna work on the Laundroid next. And I'm gonna work on that in correlation with this other project that I, I, I need to start. So I'll be working on both those things. As well as other live workshop stuff and things that are not stream related. 
Um, but yeah, we'll be streaming some of that Lundruid. Absolutely, that'll be that'll be cool. And we'll be uh, posting about it on both uh, the Alliance, you know, Facebook pages and websites, as well as on LiveWorkshop.com. So that'll be really good. Add some of these overlays so that I can just paint straight with the color. I think that's most of our overlays. We have a lot of oh, these guys too. Yeah, there we go. So here's the raw render. So the colors I actually rendered with, and then as we do the illustration and the color and the other elements of the page and the effects and all that stuff, you need to color correct the image so you get the colors that you actually want that work together with the entire rest of the image. Uh, so this is a really good start for the raw render for it. Uh, so on that note, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be back in a few minutes. And we come back, we're gonna draw some little wispies on the rest of this hair. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Switch it up, forever high. You can't deny such a buzz, and this can never die like the war on drugs. The dope is on the table when my records and stars. Generation more raw than ever before. Muzzlers hold me down, ready for war. Yeah, the haters say I'm soft, but the ladies know I'm hard. Flow cocaine, cold through your veins. Just imagine what'll happen when I come back to take my reign. My music gets you plays, like Mary gets you Jane, or like Molly gets you. Okay, that's a different thing, switch lanes, but living life bored like it's a game. So I'm feeling like Jordan with six rings. So generation cold as an ice rink, cocaine, white, and all black, everything. This is dope. 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 This shit is dope. Dope. Dope, yeah. I said that I was just a young boy, you were just a young girl.
Ja, tut ich. Welcome back. Uh, why so much RAM? Um, I just wanted to max out my computer and I run things like uh, CBrush and Photoshop and Soft Image and sometimes uh, running a game engine at the same time to test things out. So running uh, all those, you know, tons of um, uh, programs at the same time, uh, you know, it's gonna slow down your other programs. So I want to run, you know, important programs as fast as possible. So all the RAM I can do for my computer, I'm gonna throw it on there and it'll be able to run, you know, those programs that take a lot of memory, like Photoshop and uh, ZBrush when you go into super highly detailed models. Um, it's a lot of RAM being used. So it, uh, it adds up. What are you talking about, Frosty? <laughs> Homer Simpson in that part? No idea we know him. So. If my songs go pop, 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 what makes you think I'm slim, you guys? Oh, yeah, play some PL, man. Seven seventy. Oh man, those are nice cards. Here's a map. 
maxi pad. It's actually disastrously bad for the whack while the master fleet constructing this masterpiece. I'm gonna do a little bit of my clump here, kind of sticking out a little bit. All my people from the front to the back. Now, back now. Now, who thinks that arms are long enough to A little bit of shadow underneath. Let me show you maintaining this shit. Ain't that fun? That fun. Everybody wants uh, to be in the secret to rap and we'll tell you like I have got. Will there be true for the blueprints? Something rage and youthful exuberance. Everybody loves to root for a nuisance. Hit the earth like an asteroid, did nothing but shoot for the moon since. MCs get taken to school with this music because I use it as a vehicle to bust the rhyme. Yeah, I'll lead a new school full of students. Me, I'm a product of rock him, lock him, Sebastian Pockin. W A Q K dot ring, yellow easy, thank you. They got slim, inspired enough to one day grow up, blow up and be in a position to meet Run DMC, induct him into the motherfucking rockin'. Roll Hall of Fame, even though I walk in the church in person, a ball of flames. Only Hall of Fame I'll be inducted in is the alcohol of fame on the wall of shame. You fags think it's all a game, till I walk a flock of flames. All for blanking. Tell me what in the fuck are you thinking? Little gay looking boy. So gay I can barely say it with a straight face looking boy. You witnessing a massacre like you're watching a church gathering take place looking boy. Boy, they that boy's gay. That's all. Very fluffy. Absolutely. I can this side over here as fluffy as possible. I was looking really flat before. There are a couple of loose hairs here and there. And a couple of long ones too. One a little bit of highlight near the middle of it. Oh, not bright enough. Brighter. Brighter. There we go. I'm toting, and I should not be woken. I'm the walking dead, but I'm just a talking head, a zombie floating. But I got your mom deep throating. I'm out my ramen noodle. We have nothing in common, poodle. I'm a doberman. Pinch yourself in the arm and pay homage, pupil. It's me. My honesty is brutal, but it's honestly. Ah, that was a bit too bright. Utilize what I do, though, for good. More of this middle one, and we can kind of pull it out a little on that dark spot. And all the way from the middle, a little bit out. That's when the light would start hitting it. Oh yeah, see, all right. Here, you have my nickname, which is It Happens, which I acquired during my time at LucasArts, Lucasfilm. Uh, my real name is Manny, or I go by Manny. My real, real, real name <laughs> is uh, Manuel. Uh, I was born and raised in Mexico, so yeah, Manuel Llamas is my... My real name. And my friends call me Manny. And my online friends call me Sif. You can call me any of those names. I will not get offended or mad. They're all fine. Let's touch up some of these little highlights on the hairs. Always fun. But look at the accolades, these skills grown me, full of myself. But bring out some of those shapes. I myself, cause I make me do what I put my mind to when I'm a million leagues above me. Ill when I I messed up that brush stroke. Still tongue and cheek, fuck you, I'm drunk. Um, I'm getting too bright, let's go a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Chunky but funky, but in my head there's something I can feel tugging and struggling. Angels fight with devils and here's what they want from me. To ask me to eliminate some of the women hate, but if you take into consideration the bitter hate that I have, then you may be a little patient and more sympathetic to the situation and understand the discrimination. But fuck it, life's handing you lemons, make lemonade then. But if I can't battle the women, how the fuck am I supposed to bake them a cake then? No mistake of the shit. It's a fatal mistake if you think I need to be overseas and take a vacation to trip abroad and make a fall on a face and don't be a retard, be a king, think not. Why be a king? I'm in a strange place. I feel like Mace when he gave up the game for his faith. I feel like I'm caged and he's changing restraints. 
Grimming every stranger in the place while I gaze into space. Cause I'm mentally rearranging his face. I need a change of pace. Cause the pace I'm working at's dangerous. There's nowhere to dump the same. Gonna blur some of these edges a little bit so that they don't look like they just stop. I blur them, you can see that they kind of start kind of blending in there. As if they went into a fluffier part of the fur. Like that. I mean, it's kind of a uh, blurry section, anyways. Movement we have going on it. <laughs> yeah, we did. We there was a lot of Star Wars being uh, dissected and explained and theorized uh, earlier on the stream, you guys. That was pretty awesome. And we almost even got into some religion shite, but we stayed away. We're able to resist. That topic. Some highlights. Up here, the sun seems to be hitting it a little bit. I'd rather be loud and I like swearing from the first album. Even the gals were like tight, they're extremely eyes, but my fucking mouth was nice. And from the start of it, you felt like you were part of this, and opposition felt the opposite. Sometimes I listen and revisit them old albums often as I can and skim through all them pictures to make sure I keep up with my competition. And it just dies off right there. It doesn't even go all the way across, and the light doesn't hit it all the way there. And that sort of defines where I'm at and the way I feel now. I feel like I might have to strike first, but ignore the replies. The darkness comes in. The evil twins. The evil twins. The evil we're getting to a really out of focus here because this, um, that this hair starts getting a little bit behind his head. He's got a huge freaking effort going on back there. Uh, so we just hide it that way. Welcome back to the land of the living, my friend. You have slept for quite some time. So who's left, Lady Gaga? Mess with the Bieber? Nah, that's for Christina. I ain't fucking with either Jessica, neither. Simpson or Al, but my album's just sicker than strep with the Bieber. Get the chloroseptic, etc. and leave or extra strength talent all threes. Feel like I'm burning to death, but I'm freezing. Bedridden and destined never to leave the bedroom ever again like the legend of he. Uh, legend, my suicide notes barely legend. Uh, hello, Holy cur uh, Curse. Holy Curse. Thanks, man. I never can leave her. She's seven. My wiener, I ever deceive her. Fuck that shit, bitch. Give up my dick for pussy. I'll be Jerry Mathers. I have a left it to beef her. Get them titties. All right, on Sarah Poor. I got four. Thanks for joining us, man. And uh, well, I'm sure we'll see you again. We might stream tomorrow a little bit of that um, uh, Nature's Prophet gorilla that we need to finish. So, yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit of that tomorrow, guys. And wash dishes while I wrote rhymes trying to get props for him Cause I took book smarts and swap for him They were sleeping, I made him stop snoring made break Maybe the shadowing is a little bit random uh, On the hair? Uh, yeah, absolutely <laughs> uh, Well, for one thing, uh, it, we did render out the model So we have accurate lighting But on top of that, we're adding a bit of uh, color here and there uh, some, I mean, right now we're doing a really harsh brush strokes in this area Which we need to uh, blur out and I have that in a separate layer, so it's really easy to do. See? Just like this. So we don't mess around with the actual... Uh, our layer underneath there. But we mix that really well. And with this kind of hair, he's got like all these green streaks and browns and uh, kind of like uh, red and pinkish hues on his hair. So I'm just pushing that across so you can see more of the depth and the actual uh, hair strands going in, in, in a direction. And uh, that's, you know, it's creating some shadows here really nicely and uh, in the blurry areas it gets a little bit tougher to do, but uh, as a whole it gives us more direction of where all those uh, hair strands are going since we used, you know, we, we don't have like a, a hair system in this render, we're using our a decimated version of our mesh model and the texture from our low poly on top of that decimated high poly C brush mesh. So um, putting all those things together was the fastest thing to do for the illustration for the set. Uh, so that's what we're going with. And then we actually started painting some uh, artificial shadows 
scared that the render didn't pick up because you know just it wasn't going to spend that much time on the lighting because that would just take forever. Uh, so this uh, this shadowing is it's it's starting to fit really nice. And then when we add our all our color passes, it all works together fairly well. Here we have some passes that actually lighten up all those shadows that you're talking about being really out of place. So all those shadows that we had in there actually just serve as a silhouette for the strand or for that piece. So you can see here we start seeing some of those little hairs that we pulled out. This looks a lot fluffier now and some some loose hair strands start poking out which is looking really nice. And yeah, like this is this our, this our, our, our final look you know with all the color correction and the depth passes and all the other passes that we're hitting a second ago i think starts working really well for the for the hair what kind of twisted experiment am i involved in because i don't belong in this world that's why i'm scoffing at authority defiant often flying off with the handle at my mom no dad so i am non-compliant at home at school i'm just shying awkward and i don't need no goddamn psychologist trying to diagnose why i have all these there we go Save our work, I'm doing it all. Drawings on the side, walking in the front, dry talking to myself, either that or inside, hiding off. Oh, uh, that's really nice, man. Thanks. Yeah, I uh, I think I spend more time on detail. Um, more than I probably need to, but um, I, I really like knowing that, you know, that detail's there, and some, some people would appreciate it and really look deeply into it. Um, but yeah, I mean, the detail's more for myself than anything. If when I see this picture later on, uh, I'd want to look at it and be like, you know, stare at that point like, oh, you know, those that hair strand's really flat there. You know, I know I should have put those strands there so that it looks fluffier. So if I see it, you know, if I see the image later on and I look at that, I know I'm going to keep pointing that shit out. So I try to get rid of as many of those little things that would really bug me uh, just for myself uh, and, and for the stream so people can learn how to do that kind of detail. So it's, just, it's a win-win, right? So I can obsess over little things as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have a super crazy deadline for this stuff, but we are pushing for this to be out uh, after the Springs uh, event is done for Dota 2, so. It's almost there though, I mean. Right now it's just free time, really. I mean, we could, we could push this out at any moment. Making it as pretty as possible by the time we got. I sound tired. <laughs> yeah, we've been streaming for a while and I haven't had dinner yet. Uh, I, I kind of skipped dinner and we replaced it with horns uh, of alcohol. <laughs> and it's what is it? It's 2:30. So yeah, I mean it's getting close to about that time where we uh, we 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 end the show. But um, I don't know. I mean we we got through a lot of topics. We uh. There was a lot of funny shit going on in the stream. We talked about a lot of Star Wars shit. We showed some cool Star Wars stuff that uh, that I was gifted and that I had here. And uh, we did all the little wispy things on all the guys and all the clothes in the background. And actually, just before that, I was working on the effects on the uh, on, <clears throat> on the lens, and I also did the HDR effect with the darker lens and when you know there's light behind it and light in front of it. So that that's looking a lot better too. And added some god rays to the sun. And we kind of added some wispy stuff to the hair. I don't know, we, we're not so bad, you know? We needed to stream, so whether we did a lot of work or we didn't do a lot of work, I think it was still a successful stream, which is awesome. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thanks so much, uh, Ardu. Or, sorry, Ardu514. Uh, that's really nice of you to say, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you here next time. And yeah, I should definitely go grab a half dinner of something. Go scavenge my, my fridge downstairs and see what I can put together. Because I shouldn't need a lot. It's way too fucking late. What is it? 2.37? Shit, yeah. There's no way I can make anything half elaborate. Hey, thanks a lot, Peace the Baller. Well, we didn't talk about a lot about religion. I just kind of referenced the... 
uh, the debate between uh, religion and creationists, and people can go check that out by themselves if they want. Normal day for streamer. Art, towers, and religion. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, funny pick? A funny game pick? Yeah, man, that sounds good. You can pose that. Thanks for asking. Alright, let's get back to uh, the head for a little bit. Or we say goodnight, we'll work on that a little bit more since we're already on it. Get to our little... Get rid of all this color correction. There we go. And this our hair path. Here's our hair path. Oh, that changed color a little bit. I should put them in. Oh no, that's okay. We can keep it on top right there. Yeah, we can keep it on top. Huh. Pretty sure we had hair on the... Coming out of the ear. Somebody suggested it and we're like, yeah, that's a great idea. We should totally have hair coming out of there. But I think the color correction layers uh, killed it. But let's throw some more of that hair back in there because it was a really cool idea. Good, sir. I'm new at Dota. Any advice on playing Helicopter Man? Greetings, Dota citizen. I relish the opportunity to share my experience with a new player. Fantastic. In other news, I have recently died. Not a problem, friend. I will prepare some re some rational and constructive feedback to help you learn the game. <laughs> uh, that's total trolling at its best, man. They're just fucking with each other, and that's excellent. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Let's go with a lower opacity on this brush since we want this hair to be really light. And we'll have it kind of appear just out of that darkness. Well, that one is way too long of hair. There we go. It's a little bit thick here. We can get a little more rustled in here. You know, animals always have really, uh, the cats and dogs have really crazy kind of air going in all directions. Curvy ones look good. Might be a little too thick. Oh, Jay Smith, totally, man. Like, I always, I was a huge night owl while working at studios. Back at Digital Extremes, I was the, I was a workaholic, dude. I was working, I can't even tell you the hours, it was retarded. Or ridiculous. My apologies. Um, I was sleeping at the studio like three times a week, at least. It was crazy. But yeah, man, like, you name it, like, you, there's something in the studio, I fucking slept on it. Uh, pool table, slept on it, underneath the pool table, uh, chair on the desk, under the desk, uh, two chairs put together, uh, the, the couch, ah, uh, fuck, man. It was crazy times. 
Younger days though, younger days. I only spent a few nights at the studio at Lucas. Uh, probably quite a few, but it wasn't as bad. Not as before. At least Lucas had really nice couches. <laughs> Alright, we got some here. Uh, I, I don't like this one here. I'm gonna delete it. Way too straight. It kind of. I don't know. It's bad. We can do better. That's why we put shit in a new layer every time we come out on some new little detail. Throw in a new layer and then you can always blur it a little bit or smudge it or wrap it so you can uh, modify it all as a whole. Uh, free time? Yeah, I still I still take free time to do you know some things. I play. Well, not recently. I've been just really all my free time has gone just to uh, on weekends is when I get most of my free time. Uh, but yeah, during the week I'm usually doing research or doing templates or uh, uh, updating the workshop or doing sets for for Dota or uh, contract work. And uh, while running the live workshop, has, I mean, it's a it's a huge learning experience. You know, it's my first you know real company that I'm, I'm running. You know, at the same time as doing contract work and doing stuff for Valve. So it's you know it, it has run me a little bit thin. But I, it's you know it's the beginning of a new thing, so I have to I have to spend a lot of time in it, and it's you know it slowly will get better. But yeah, I mean, I try to make time for for friends and, and you know girlfriends, and my girlfriend and things like that. So also important. The one thing I really need to get back on is you know trying to get back on the soccer field, man. Like. I, I, I used to play in leagues and play soccer time three times a week. So I need to I need to get back out there man, for sure. I miss it a lot. It's been a few months. So yeah, I'm completely out of shape. I need to get my cardio going again. That takes a long time to get back, so I'll get back on it. Oh thanks Wonder. Really nice man, thanks. Uh, yeah, this is our. This is gonna be loading screen slash wallpaper slash uh, print. Hopefully, that I will be able to sell eventually one day. Maybe. Talked to Val about that, but yeah, it's, uh, it's an illustration. Uh, I'll, let me finish some of these strokes, and we'll zoom out and we'll put all the other layers on top because this is uh, this doesn't have all the color correction and all those other things on it. Uh, where were we? Uh, oh yeah, we're doing the hair on the ear. Little light, so here's something we can do. Put this at 20%. Now we're just gonna clone it. And do a stronger clone from the bottom, and there we go. We have it showing up a little bit better. And then we can delete at maybe 18%. And we just delete a little bit at the top and the ends, because hairs get super thin and they stop becoming visible to the human eye. I should do a good job. There we go. That looks a little like some hairs coming out of there. Okay, let's put the other layers on top so you can see it. All of you new guys that have joined the stream. There you go, see? And just a little bit of that detail, you can see that hair coming out of the ear, which is just the amount we want it. You doubled the Russell. <laughs> That's awesome, Frosty. Hey, Falkai, thanks, man. 
You don't like soccer, but you respect them for running the whole game? Yeah, the, 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 the conditioning on soccer players. Oh my god. And the shittiest part about, you know, keeping up with that conditioning, if you miss one week of running, your conditioning goes right down the fucking shitter, man. Like, it's... Oh, fuck. Hey, what's up, Steve? Some request? Yeah, man, what you wanna listen to? I used to think you was the shit, bitch. To think it was you at one time I wore shit, shit. Think you can hurt people and just keep getting away with it. Now this time you better go and get the sewing kit, bitch. Finish this shit so you can reap what you so need, bitch. Thought some time had passed and I'd forget it, forget it. Eminem, one love. Uh, shit, I don't know if I have one love. I have like every Eminem track out there. I'm not sure if I got one love, man. What album was that from? Wow, yeah, I don't have it on my list, dude, on my iTunes. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't have that track by M. I'm, I have like everything M and M. I don't have one love. Jazz? Mm. Yes? Oh man, no, I got no jazz. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put that on while you uh, come up with another request since I I don't have your song. pick the right highlights and paint those on our our layer well We just played, uh, we just played Rap God, man, in White America. Classical palms battle my own demon, 
Hands, I need a glass of Patron. Bad as I need a horn. Stabbing my clavicle bone. I'm mad at all prone. Uh, we got a White America coming up next, man. I was letting the Fofo Puff, the Fofo Pop. First time you Yeah, go ahead, Timani. Fofo Puffs, looking at Robocop. I'm not a man, I'm a logo. I'm a such thing. In order to clean my veins, you need saline. I'm never referring to the solution I'm talking about. More like the Mustang. Give respect from the get go. Step to the echo. Ken got a mind of his own. Gotta write my rhymes with a timer. Otherwise, I'll probably vibe out to a nine minute song. As the echo follows the miles of Roddy, as it petrol swallows, I'm a thousand bodies away from a skeleton. Awesome, dude. Thanks for dropping by. And we'll see you next time for sure. Enjoy your uh, the Dota Pro matches. Yes, and I need to go eat something. Absolutely. I can't believe I just... Oh. I was gonna take a break earlier and then we just kept on going. Uh, Mark Yolo, uh, we don't have partnership just yet with Twitch, but that's something that we're working on and hopefully soon we'll have the uh, subscribe button for you guys. Well, that's other options. Got some loose trance a little bit running through here. Gotta follow who we got. Oh, I missed a bunch. Have I missed a bunch? Maybe a few. James Bond. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, man. Glad to have you. And here we're doing some straight uh, little hair strands, which we're gonna blur a little bit so that they fit more with this blurry section of the hair. We don't want them to just stand out as much as, as they are right now. Hello, thanks for following, dude. Some beer in me. Mm -hmm. Alright, so after we do those trends over that blurry section, we're gonna just. Oh crap, our blur is at 100%. We want that at 40 or something like that. There we go. And we're just blurring the strands since we made a new layer for those guys. Don't have to worry about blurring even more the blurry stuff that's already behind them. And that brings out a couple of those strands that, you know, might be in between that dark section there and the little groove, just creating the shadow. Hey, love you, Dad. It's a very fancy beard, sir. It's a level 5 beard. What's up, Joker? Hello for you from the USA. Loose trance in here, perhaps. Just 
this one is yeah so we're gonna we're gonna race into it Run a little bit sharp on that one there we go Joker, thanks for following us, man. Oh, did we? No, this is the end of the song. There's like 12 seconds left on it. There you go. A little White America for somebody that we requested it. Argyola? <laughs> America. Sharp. Oh shit. Um, ah, come on, Photoshop. It's rereading all the memory that it dumped out uh, from all the layers being hidden for a while. A little bit of a sharp shadow, uh, sharp shadow coming out of right there. So, oh, that's not a shadow. That's part of a ray here somewhere. Going right across it. Coming from. Enough of the lands. Must be dust somewhere. There it is. Found it. Okay. We have a <laughs> Okay, let's uh, we're gonna hide the top half. Okay, it's in the top half somewhere. The second top half. Yep. Nice. Way too many layers to keep track on perfectly. Found it. And we'll... 60%. So we can fade it away. It actually goes up his belt even a little bit. Really needs to fade it a little bit by percentages. So that you still get that gradient that we were using before. Because that's part of the dust, that lay right there. Which we just uh, got rid of. Just at that top, it just it was just cut off a little bit, I guess, and we just uh, didn't catch it. Let's see, we just delete that at uh, seventy percent, little by little, with a huge brush, and we created a gradient uh, erasing uh, effect into it. And uh, there we go, fix that area. So let's go ahead and save this as a new file. So case. Go. 
You have a problem with your AO and your light map. Can you show us a screenshot, please? Yeah, man. Let's let's take a look at your screenshot. I'll try and deduce the problem. Need more chest hair? <laughs> you know, Miss London, not everything can get fixed with more chest hair. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I still need to do the highlights on the chest hair. I just don't want to overdo it because we don't actually have an item for the chest hair. And we were gonna do the one, but uh, because the main needs so many polygons to have extra little, you know, uh, little pointy things coming out, we couldn't afford really uh, to have a part of the chest be models, like a geometry. And at the same time, from the game view, the main alt hides would hide that entire polygon, all the polygons in the chest. So we decided no chest hair polygons for it. Oh, Mark Hill, we didn't even play your app god, dude. We played it earlier, though. <laughs> hey, here's a good song. A little... AC. Justin Kim. Holy Grail. You take the clothes off my back and I let you. you Alright, Mark Yellow, good luck on uh, your ward, dude. Make sure you show us on the forums at Live Workshop. Oh no! How dare you, Windows? Postpone four hours. Hate that shit. Not on the chest, lower. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it's got his uh, flag as a loin cloth. Uh, Dark Moon has followed. Thanks for the follow, man. That bigger swag was just for you. Alright, let's see what you got, man. Here. Oh, you did a. Oh, look at you! You made a gift for us and everything. Thoughtful. Okay, so we are looking at. Uh, your light map is wrong and your AO is wrong. So your light map is correct, it looks like. But your ambient occlusion has uh, a blackness on top of it. And. Uh, other geometry darkening the sides of your... I don't know what this is, it looks like a belt or a, a glove, a bracer or something. Saved our shit. Minimize our work. Pointed at the problem area with the red arrows. Yes, I saw those. The details in that area for some reason have different position. The middle details move like 20 pixels from where you expect it to be. You don't know why it's happening. Oh, so it's actually the detail is wrong on both sections, or is it? Ah, oh, this fucking crap out. Hold on, I have this thing on top. Alright, I'm pretty sure we just broke uh, Chrome. Okay. 
Mm. So I guess, well, part of this is your... This is your safe zone for your pixels that are getting pushed out. So it's just right here, the area that you're saying is wrong. But it, that's uh, is that a... That's a fold on the polygons, right? Like, that's another set of polygons, another edge loop. Oh, you're saying the middle detail. I should read your whole fucking thing. I was just, just guessing at what the problem was. Uh, the middle detail is moved 20 pixels from where you expect it to be. You don't know why it's happening. Okay, yes. Uh, you're talking about... I, I guess I'm still unclear about what the hell you're talking about, but... You're talking about. You're talking about this. Like this is this is the detail that I see. On, like that's what I would call detail. Or are you talking about like the detail missing on the edges here on the circle area? Uh, which section are you talking about? Uh, thanks, love you, Dad, for the follow, man. Oh no! Uh, yeah, my Chrome just totally crapped out, which means I lost the chat. So let me just close Chrome altogether because it's completely shit on us. It didn't like me copying that uh, GIF apparently. Oh. And cross it. Give me a second, guys. I got out. Making my Chrome back up, which is actually running my chat. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're coding an indie Android game? That's fucking awesome, man. I want. I've started uh, an iOS game that I had to shelf because I am just beyond busy. Uh, but I, I want to get back to my indie game as well, man. That's really cool that you're working on that. Oh, I know a site where you can find artists. <laughs> yeah, it's always hard recruiting artists, man. It's just, I mean, talented artists. It's, it's always, always really, really hard. I had to do it back in the day when I was working on uh, my mod for Half-Life One. Uh, let's see, best way to find, uh, I mean, you can put, uh, the best thing to do is to uh, get a friend or somebody to make a really cool, uh, like, concept artwork for the game you're trying to make, because it's just so hard to sell somebody, especially artists, on a game when you don't have anything to show, if it's your, the very beginning of your indie game. So you should get somebody to concept something for you, or pay somebody to concept something for you, and then that way you can attract more artists by posting that, that initial stuff in forums in 3D forums all over the place, and there's just tons of forums, you know, CG Talk and Polycount, and, and uh, to just tons and tons and tons of, of places, so uh, I, I'll go with that, that, uh, that idea, man. Uh, so, um... Siren, okay, yeah, I see your chat now, so uh, can you, yeah, which detail were you talking about, man? Uh, was it like this detail on the inside, or like this edge detail that is just kind of disappearing, or maybe it's disappearing, I'm not sure what your actual problem is. Are you saying that the middle section has, uh, has the detail kind of like off base? Uh, I think you're, you, maybe this piece is the one that's probably 20 pixels off or something? It's a Pugna cloak, okay. You have two stripes, right, one and two. And you can use the UV on the top right. There's some metal arrow. <laughs> oh, part of the design. So yeah, this guy here. Okay, so this is shifting from map to map. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. So let me ask you this. Yeah, I see it on the, on the GIF now. Um, yeah. 
So why did you render your light map and why did you use to render your normal ma your AO? Did you use like did you do your light map in like Maya and did you do your AO in X normal? We're gonna get some food soon and then pass out. Oh, excuse me, guys. While I wait for the delay to catch up and I can see uh, his answer. I should just type it so we can communicate way faster. But yeah, I, I, I totally see what you're talking about. Uh, your section here is completely different. And what I'm pretty sure what happened is you baked your uh, light map in a different program than your X normal. If you used X normal to do your normal map or your ambient occlusion, normal map ambient occlusion, you do them on the same program. <laughs> Alright, love you that. That just means one less thing I have to do. <laughs> so for your ambient occlusion, you used X normal, and for your light map, you used Maya. Uh -huh. So, when you did your light map, you used the normal map to be added to your... Oh, okay, I know what happened. So you actually used your geometry inside of Maya to bake your light map. Is that right? Yeah, I'm sure it is. So if you did that, uh, which you, I'm sure you did, um, what's happening is the X normal is looking at different distances uh, a way I should probably illustrate this. I have a fucking pen in my hand. So let's use black. So say you have your I don't know, you have your polygon here. Right? And it's you know kind of like detail on it. So. Okay, that's super shitty. Anyways, so here's your low poly, right? And you probably, exactly, you decimated geometry and you're baking on top of it. Okay, so that's your problem right there. So I did too many fucking lines. I'm too fancy here. Okay. So you have your low poly, right? And you have your high polygon stuff, which is gonna look, you know, super detailed and might have like scarring and shit on it. I have a better idea, let's do it. Have your high poly with like dents and shit on it and some cut and that's sitting right on top of your mesh and it looks a little bit like this right so x normal is looking you probably have a, a set number on your cage or on your minimum and your maximum uh, levels for your high poly when you baked out the ambient occlusion and your normal map so you're gonna have those numbers be like, pro well, depends on the size of your mesh, so it could be any number. But that number is gonna be, you know, uh, say it's a point, usually like a point five is a middle ground for shit like that. For Dota at least. Uh, I usually go down to point one and bake around point one or point zero one. Uh, but, you know, you can start with the point zero five and see if you need to go up or down. So, that's what X normal is looking at. Uh, Maya is looking at your high poly stuff which is probably in the same position, but the distance between your high poly and your low poly, no matter if it's super, you know, super tiny or if it's a larger space, Maya is looking at this distance at different uh, scales and different numbers. And I don't know what the, the exact ratio from X normal to Maya is, you, you know, that might be kind of fucking difficult to to figure out, but that's actually what is happening between your stints, between your high poly and your low poly. So your bake for your light map is actually looking at, 
it's thinking that your high poly is in a completely different place. So it's shooting those rays, and those rays are calculating this distance, which is different from X normal and Maya, and it's giving you a different result of, you know, it probably has like different numbers altogether, like, I don't know, fucking, it could be anything, it could be one, or it could be, you know, 2.0 or 1.0, etc. So that's the distance that's fucking you over. If you want to get a light map out of Maya without using your decimated stuff, there's another way to do it. You can apply your normal map to your low poly and just ignore your uh, ignore your high poly altogether, and just apply your normal map to this and let know the renderer in Maya that you want to use the normal map for your light map, and it'll bake using the light map and it'll create those shadows for you. They might not be as good as using obviously you know more polygons because more polygons means more vertices and more information and more raycasts between all that stuff. So it's gonna be less information but it's still gonna get you the, the stuff you're looking for for Dota. So just use the normal map to bake your light map inside of Maya with uh, mental ray or whatever you're using and you're gonna be good and that's how you fix it. The other thing you can do is uh, bake both, bake everything in Maya. If you want to use the light map in Maya, make sure you bake the normal map and the inbuilt occlusion and uh, the AO in it as well. And then you'll have the same distances. But if you're using two different programs, they're going to look at different distances. And unless you know that those numbers perfectly, which I have no fucking clue, uh, and good luck to you if you want to figure that out. <laughs> uh, yeah, just bake everything on one program or use the normal map that you bake from one app and just plug it into your low poly and you'll be good to go. Cool? Makes sense? And, uh, I guess you're baking onto a flat piece, and that's why you decided to use the decimated um, model instead of just using your normal map. Because you're, you're, you're baking everything into a flat surface. So I can see why you did that, and that makes sense. But well, you did bake on two different programs, uh, so that uh, uh, that that'll that'll mess things up for you. Hey Carter, uh, we're just helping out uh, Siren with a, a baking pro problem he had. When you're baking in Maya, you're just using the there's no low poly, you're just using high poly decimated. Oh, so you transferred your UVs. Do your decimated mesh then? That's how you get in your UVs? And then you have the same UVs for your low poly? Or close UVs? The UVs are not gonna be the same either, man, unless they're like... Really, like, unless they're projected or something like that. If you're, if you're baking into a flat surface. So the, yeah, that's gonna change things a little bit too. If you're just baking... I mean, what UVs are you using if you don't have low poly? If you're using UVs from your high poly, then that's gonna shift your stuff, dude. That's gonna do it as well. Oh, hey, Tropical Salad, welcome, man. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> We're in the middle of a, a problem solving right now. So yeah, I mean, uh, you should be baking to your low poly stuff, your light map. If you're just baking to new set UV, of, oh shit, uh, new set of UVs. Uh, those UVs are gonna be slant, you know, in a different place than your other UVs. You got your UVs from Maya to ZBrush and then to Maya again, or Light Bake. Yeah, but you have a different mesh with those UVs. I mean, like unless you used Gator or something to transfer those UVs, uh, they are gonna be a little bit offset. So what you should do is have your low poly in Maya. Uh, no, you should use the normal map if you want to do your light map. Just apply the normal map to your low poly in Maya and do your X normal and your AO in, in X normal. But if you want to use high poly stuff, I'll just give you the option. Uh, bake your normal, your AO, and your light map in Maya and bake from your high poly onto your low poly in all three cases. Including the light map. And then all that light information will actually match up with whatever gets baked onto your low poly. And then you'll be good to go. So that, those are two options. I suggest you just add the normal map to your low poly mesh and bake, bake the light map on that with whatever lights you set up on it. It's a lot easier. And you know, all that detail is gonna get crammed into a little little texture for Dota, so uh, fight your battles however you want, man. But those are your options. Uh, hello, Silic.
Uh, what were you streaming, Car? Which, which game were you playing? This one, there we go. Stuff. All right, Siren, right on, man. Awesome. So yeah, go to it, and uh, I mean, you try both options. If you want to learn both, see which one you like best, and go for it. Breath of Fire games. Oh, cool. Odin Sphere. I never played Odin Sphere. It sounds familiar, though. Oh, no problem, Siren. We're near the end of our stream here tonight, so it was a. Uh, a good little, uh, maybe I should do like a Q&A at the end of each stream and we can help some people out really quickly. Uh, while we get to our tutor shows and uh, subscriptions and all that fun stuff. And we'll be alright. Alright, I think it's gonna be dinner time soon. If anybody else has any questions, we'll go through them really quickly right now. If not, uh, we'll say we'll do the closing. Uh, the closing for the stream. <laughs> what am I gonna eat? I don't know, man. It's gonna be something quick because I have I have no energy or will to, uh, to cook something. I usually don't even really cook anything too extravagant. So, oh, actually, I have this uh, Korean uh, pastas. I have these laksa pastas that are just fucking phenomenal. So I think I'll make one of those pastas, and uh, I'll eat that while I watch some uh, some True Detective or something like that. You guys have seen True Detective? It is freaking amazing. It is so good, you guys. If you have HBO, check out uh, True Detective. Really freaking good show. They're only in episode 4 and it's just phenomenal. Uh, the same people that did the Dragon's Crown game. Oh, neat. Okay. How has Natalie not seen Star Wars? I know. Well, she went to bed, right? I mean... Where's she back? No, she went to bed. Yeah. Uh, I know, I can't believe that she isn't Star Wars. She lost her sword tonight. <laughs> because she doesn't see Star Wars. So we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna we're gonna make her watch Star Wars and then we'll give her her, her sword back. <laughs> Which was just a joke anyways. Uh Steve, will I add you on Steam? Dude, I have so many people on Steam. But what I, we can do for when we start a uh, um we start doing like uh, stream, like you know, in-house streams, or just playing with uh, with subs and things like that. Uh, we'll we, the live workshop has a group, so we can just join the group, and I can see everybody on there, and I don't have to like delete people from my list and add more people and things like that. So uh, that way, I don't have to say no to some people and yes to some people, and you know, hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> Homemade cookies. Oh, that sounds like special cookies, sir. I'm trying to act like I know how to cook. No, I. <laughs> I mean, I can cook. You know, I can cook easy things, but nothing, nothing fancy or extravagant. Absolutely not. Hey, Dante. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> can you have a sword? Uh, well, we're gonna need more mods eventually, so I'll add more mods as, as we move forward, man. You, you're you're on the front running, Steve. You're one of the regulars. 
So, yeah, that's some things that we want on here. Regulars, respectful, and people that look after the chat. That'd be great. Uh, Dota 2 Guild. Yeah, we have one. The Live Workshop has a guild, actually, so we can definitely use that. Extra chocolate. Sure, it's chocolate. <laughs> Thanks, man. I have a chocolate cookie right here. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna eat it. I'm gonna go downstairs and make some Lexa pasta. So good, you guys. So good. Alright. Oh, what the hell did I... Oh, I hit... I was thinking Chrome. Okay. Cool. So, I don't know if there's any more questions, anything you guys are wondering about. I will try and answer them. If not... I will do the closing statements. Uh, you guys can ask while I do the closing stuff for the stream. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I usually bring up our live workshop and give you guys a good link. Oh, there's actually another link I want to share with you guys. Uh, here we go. So this is our juggernaut set that we did uh, for the spring event for Dota 2. We, were, we submitted a little bit late because we were crunching our butts off for two weeks. We started, like, we got back, I was out of the country, and so was my buddy that I worked with, with Val. So we had we only had two weeks to, to finish the set, and we were just, we we missed it by a day. So uh, our set is in the, in the workshop. If you guys uh, like it, uh, go to each item and rate each item up and favorite it, and that would really help us out. We really appreciate it. You guys can support us that way until we get subscriptions and stuff. But that's a, that's a really cool way to, that you guys can... Uh, and they can support the live workshop and the artists that work hard on those this uh, sets for you guys and for the community uh, so check that out and also if you are new to the stream uh, go ahead and drop on by uh, liveworkshop.com you can check out all our past broadcasts uh, you can scroll down or hit the more button there uh, you can check out uh, well this has all te uh, from texturing to concept to low poly high poly c brush uh, rigging has a lot of different things you can take a look at uh, we have a new design or an upgrade to the design of the lab workshop that will be kicking in, in the next few weeks and that's going to have a filter option which will let you filter through all the all the videos all the broadcasts so you can look for through programs or uh, through art discipline you know if it's low poly high poly all the things that i just mentioned and more and then way more filters and more programs as we keep adding broadcasts and other artists eventually into the live workshop and that'll be freaking awesome uh so we also have featured items which we've uh we, we show on here that we, we we get some you know donations from the people that work on the sets as a service provider when people submit their sets so we we, we, we replicate you know the work and we get we hopefully get a more rates and uh, more people viewing their items so that's a really nice give and take for both sides and then we have our tutorials which are step by step and very uh, educational type of videos uh, live streams is something that's new you guys can see this just yet but that's gonna be kicking in the next couple weeks as well with a you know brand new tab this is a placeholder and we have at the very top we have all our channels that you can follow subscribe or uh, uh well, what's twitter is that subscribe or follow i don't even know <laughs> anyways we have our twitter our facebook our twitch and our youtube channels up there you can reference all those guys our stream schedule which will fill in whenever we have a broadcast and you can hit that little uh, reminder icon that shows up on the right so you get an email when the show's gonna start an hour before the show 30 minutes or 10 minutes before the show and we have our forums if you are an artist or you want to talk about dota journal discussions or you have problems with a software of some sort that we might be able to help you with you can post them there we'll try and help you out that's what we're here and that's where the forums are there you can also post your work in progress and we'll help you out with uh some cri uh, constructive criticism okay so Rubble Castalet, you liar! <laughs> and thank you, Kenzo. I'll check up on that donation. And thank you so much if you did donate five dollars. We really appreciate it, and that uh, that's a really good way to also support the stream. We have a donations link underneath uh, the stream right here, which we don't really advertise way too much, but it's right there. If you guys felt like you were entertained or you felt you learned something, you can, you know, donate as much as you feel appropriate. And that will be that. Do I know how to start making a mesh? Mesh totals? What? Alright, Team Aini, that's awesome. Yeah, put it on your work in progress and any questions you have, throw them on there and we'll try and help you out. 
uh, there's me and other artists on there that are very uh, willing to help other people getting started. Whether it's you know intermediate, advanced, or beginner st stage, uh, we'll, we'll help everybody we can. That's why we uh, opened up those forums. Uh, what, Steve? When can you buy uh, the set? Uh, the set, we're gonna be submitting it, hopefully... Well, I don't know, I can't give you guys that because I don't want to disappoint anybody. But uh, we're waiting for the end of the spring event to, to be finished completely. And then we're gonna submit it to the workshop after I finish this image, which is almost there. I've just been doing some extra polish on it. And some final uh, material, little mask stuff, you know, for the... Mask 1 and Mask 2 for the, for the set. And then it'll be in, it'll be in there. And we've been working on a marketing strategy with Alliance. And we got all that stuff uh, all set, so uh, it's looking really good so far. And it's it's I, I, all I can say it's soon, <laughs> pretty soon. I mean, you can see uh, the stage we're at with this stuff here. Uh, it's definitely getting there. And you guys seen the in-game model? Uh, well, not in-game. Some people have seen the in-game, the older version. And you guys seen here the the color texture and the 3D model with uh, the new. The new eyebrows on the in-game version and in the avatar, which are really, really cool. Really happy about those, and we were able to fit them in in uh, in the polygon budget. Uh, you tried to make a Pugna, but you're having troubles making the start of it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do you have like a concept of it or something? Maybe we can make it like a mini uh, tutor show and we can show people how to start a model, you know, using a box or something like that or a 2D plane and draw on, you know, a side box and then extrude from it. And there's many ways that you can you can start modeling. So we can do maybe a little bit of that uh, next stream. That will help a lot of people out, hopefully. <laughs> oh yes, the decimal. A dollar and a, a fraction of a, of, of a cent. <laughs> Hey, Miss London. Uh, it's it's almost finished. It's it just has a little bit of polishing because I am uh, because we have some time actually to spare until you know all that spring stuff is done and over with, and then we we submit it and we get a, a, a clear window for that stuff. Is that Proof's face on the belt buckle? <laughs> no, man, that's uh, Alliance's teddy bear, but an older version of their teddy bear because you know we have the older version and wiser version of the Phantom Lancer. So the Alliance take, they, they have this teddy bear that they take with them to all their tournaments. And uh, I decided that, you know, to link it to the Alliance in a very, you know, subtle way. And we made like this wise, older looking teddy bear as part of the emblem and part of, you know, their temple or whatever for the Phantom Lancer. Uh, for this set anyways. Uh, so that was really cool that we were able to to put that in there and kind of personalize it uh, in, a, in a higher level for, for the Alliance players. And, and they really, really, really liked that and appreciated it. So it's, it's really awesome. Hey Romania, welcome back. We're just uh, closing the stream actually, but thanks for coming back, man. Hopefully we'll be back tomorrow to do some more uh, gorilla stuff. <laughs> uh, you know what, Queso? I can check really easy on my phone. And yeah, he's, he did. He's, he donated five dollars. So, uh, Queso, man, thank you so much. We appreciate it. A big thank you from the live workshop, man. So the spear's gonna have effects coming off from the emblem and the emblem's gonna be glowing and things like that, but this is just the, the diffuse texture. <laughs> yeah, I just got back, man, but we gotta say goodnight. It is uh, 3.37 in the morning and I need to... Oh god, I don't even wanna cook that pasta anymore. It's too late to eat. I shouldn't eat this late before I go to bed. Oh, we have something smaller. I'll find something. We'll be alright, don't worry. What time will I stream tomorrow? Uh, well, I'm gonna sleep in a little bit because it's 4 in the morning almost. So I'll try and wake up around noon. Around 11 or noon or so. And then we'll, uh, there's a bunch of stuff I gotta do. And then we'll try and start the stream maybe around 3 p.m., 3 or 4 p.m. Uh, maybe. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll shoot for that, let's say. We'll shoot for that. Uh, do we have a beacon? Yeah, there's a Burger King down the street, man, but I'm not eating that shit. And they close like at 12.30 or some shit like that, so yeah, they're, they're not the 24-hour BKs. Talk about girls? <laughs> oh dear. Alright guys, so we did our closing stuff, we showed a little bit of the model, we showed uh, you know, our almost finished work in progress uh, beauty render for Phantom Lancer, which we want to make a loading screen, and also we want to make prints for it for sale eventually. So I'll be working on that stuff later down the line, and this is it happens for the lab workshop. Thank you so much for joining us guys. If you haven't followed us, make sure you hit that follow button, and uh, we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Thanks for dropping by, and uh, we'll see you real soon, if not tomorrow. I'm really, I'll really try for tomorrow, you guys, alright? So yeah, signing out. See you guys. Peace. Play a little journey for you guys on our way out. Enjoy. Have a good night. Share